What does a box like or a setup like this run? This is, as it says here, is seventeen thousand five hundred. Uh -huh. What? What the? F yo, yo, yo! What is up, guys? Nick Nakai here. Let's Drift Media. We are out here another beautiful day in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're out here for our second day of SEMA with the Humpty Parker Irish. Uh, hopefully we got to see some more stuff today. Uh, I'll try to take you guys more to the toy area, stuff like that, things I miss since there's so much stuff to see, but let's get over there. I don't know if you guys noticed a little bit better video quality. Recently got the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So I've been using this for a lot of the B-roll and honestly I wanted to just use this iPhone instead of this big ass camera. So we'll see what happens, see how this videos, these videos come out. Maybe I might just go to iPhone for 4K. had some bomb ass breakfast at Wahlburgers. Mark Wahlberg. Berg. Uh, time to hit the monorail now. Get to SEMA. Alright guys, little first car of the day. I'm gonna take you back to probably one of my favorite cars I think. This S14. Two day swapped. Right hand drive. This thing is just so clean. It's like nutting all over the place. This is 240 goals. I don't know how we missed this one yesterday. Off-road Lamborghini. Oh my god, this thing is badass. Crazy lifts in my life, but not seeing a three car stacker by Ben Pack. I mean, you'd have to have a huge ass garage for this, but holy crap, that is goals right there. It is a four post, each drive on. That is sick. Pack without here. I think I should buy my lift here. Well, this one's actually really cool too. Giant scissor lift. This is the lift that I want for the garage, guys. A little half lift for nine foot ceilings. This is the one I want. So this would definitely be a one of a kind build right here. We got the Chia Bronco. Real life Chia. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook. We've got plenty of updates coming from all these builds from all across the country that we've got here, including the one and only Chief Brown. It is, oh yeah. <laughs> Looks better than my lawn at home, guys. A lot of hard work, dedication going into this. Fully wrapped. Cha 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 chia. Absolutely next level. Never even could imagine something like this. Yeah. 
Folks, you're invited to touch. Come on up and pet the one and only Chia Bronco, just nice and gently with the back of your hand so we keep it growing for everybody else today. Can we smoke it? I mean, if you want to, you can absolutely eat it too, if you'd like. <laughs> Smoothies, salads, you name it. We can have some fun with it later on. <laughs> <laughs> nice and gently, nice and gently, so we keep it growing. Once you mash it down, that's when the sprouts will die. This is a full living being. Each one of these green pieces you see up top is its own sprout. So is this advertising greens or trucks? This is actually uh, Ford's new, uh, what is it, eco-friendly edition, I guess, that they're coming out with in 2022? Oh. No, this is our carbon offset. We're just trying to have some fun out here. <laughs> How did this idea come about? Uh, our, our engineer at Quake LED, Andon Sawyer, loves chia seeds. He uses it in his everyday life in smoothies and in salads. And he had actually thrown some out in his garbage one day. And when he went out to, to take the garbage out and send it out to the, to the real rubbish, he came back and noticed that it was sprouted and it started growing for him. And in the year of the Bronco out here at SEMA, we figured how are we going to make our Bronco separate from everyone else's and stand out? And growing a chia on there was our, our brainchild. Oh, you definitely did it. You Thank you very it. much. Thank you. How much of that green stuff you all right guys we're well, having a great time here at SEMA one cool thing about here is just everyone's super cool super cool you just walk up talk to everyone all the builders all the people walking around just everyone's really cool it's a really cool and friendly environment and yeah so still gonna check out some more I think we need to go to the overland area but I think that's where we're gonna go now try and find it and see what's up with that all right, guys, I think this is the last hall we haven't seen. The Overland Experience. This is huge. A lot of off-road stuff that I have no idea what I'm looking at, but should be some cool stuff. All right, apparently this is not just the Overland. There's a whole lot more detailing stuff like that. Just another reminder that the show is massive and there's so much to see here. So I'm just gonna walk around and show you guys some stuff that I find interesting. That's a pretty crazy super car right here. That's a ceramic pro boot. It is crazy to actually see cars like this in real life. A lot of these I only see in like video games. Like Forza. It just feels unreal. I'm scared. Pagani over here. Look at the interior. Like, what? what are we looking at? It's crazy. All I gotta say is crazy. One thing to see in pictures in real life. Wow. Speechless. Oh, we got the new Z out here. What do you guys think? Yay or nay? I'm not too sure how I feel about it. Looks a little weird. I'm sure once people start driving around, they'll get used to them. I don't know, it just looks weird to me. I like the back end. But the front end reminds me of like, uh, Honestly, like a Hyundai or something. Or a Mazda. Alright guys, some of you guys probably saw the Tesla ride on my Instagram feed, but we're gonna go down and go through the Tesla tunnel again, get the South Hall. So what do we got I here? I saw the camera. I thought, is he going to take this out himself or uh, no? We'll, we'll put it on the YouTube channel. You guys can find us at Let's Drift Media. Sounds good. Basically, it cuts down to a 30 by 36 inch footprint. Are we opening or closing? I was going to close it off. <laughs> okay. And then start. Gotcha. This is insane. What's your, what what's the? you know putting this on your YouTube thing you yourself should actually move this and see how incredibly easy it's 1200 pounds moving right now oh wow that moves pretty easily everything locks including the base door by that so another way sorry 
<laughs> Day four. I'm so tired. You're fine, dude. I bet. We are too. I bet you are. It's crazy. What you the have heck? You have to experience semen in order to know, right? So, everything locks in place. Everything about Shadow is having, having open, visual, and physical access yeah. to your tools. Reduced body motion by 66%. We have full power. 110 USB down below. Same 10, 110 USB A and C style. There's a 12 volt plug-in on this side, as well as a switch for your LEDs, which are backed up by battery. You oh, can use okay. that for up to six hours. That way you have to do a quick job, or you're working behind something that shades it, or keeping your tools lit, because you have to be able to see your tools in order to be able to use them quickly. Swivel table goes in and out. Everything's high adjustable. These accessories can be moved to any position that you want, so it's a full custom setup for whatever you want. If you look over here, you'll see an example. They're basically held on by PEM studs. Oh, okay. So if you go back here, you're going to be able to see how it's a positive hold. You can oh, okay. truly customize and put these accessories yeah. wherever you want. Interesting. Mm-hmm. You guys got it fully decked out, so it looks really nice right now with all the tools in it. Well, thank you. This is a new holder on the market as well. This holds your screwdrivers. As you can see, you can have different lengths, but yet it presents the tip so you know you're grabbing your 6-inch oh. or 8-inch screwdriver in the head style that you are having. You could put it in that way, but you don't get as positive of a hold. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That is cool. The, uh, the pry bar holder. This is a secret little space back here. You can put all kinds of, you know, four foot extensions or um, pry bars. What does so, a box like or a setup like this run? This is, as it says here, is seventeen thousand five hundred. Uh -huh. What? What the fuck? We're going to rotary forward lift. Oh, yeah, auto tags. You guys know what's up with these. Got the two car stacker. Got the alignment rack. Very nice. See what we got over here. Jesus. Got the two posts, a lot of you guys know about at work. I don't know why, it seems a lot taller here. We got tire machines. Wow. They're looking back at the dealership. Alright, so we're officially done with SEMA. We pretty much saw everything. Only filmed the stuff I wanted to see. Our feet hurt. We walked 60 miles yesterday. We're gonna go to Top Golf now, so thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later.